How's it going everyone? This is Carl at APSX and today we're going to show you a demonstration of the possibilities of using 3D printed molds on our plastic injection machine. Let's get started. Okay, so now we have our 3D molds here on the bench. We've received these molds from three different companies. This first one is from Form Labs. Second one is from Asiga. And the third one is from Stratasys. And all these molds are used, are created using high temperature plastic. And right here we have the little plastic keychain design that we're going to mold today. Um, and right here we have our, these are our aluminum blanks that you would insert your 3D mold into. And we can machine these for you, or if you like, you can also 3D print them. It's entirely up to you how you would want to do this on an injection machine. So these dimensions for our standard size mold blanks for the APSX PIM are 4.8 inches by 6 inches and the size of these are 2.5 inches by 4 inches. Okay so let's get started with this installation. The first thing we like to do is use a 1 8 inch piece of silicone rubber. Now the reason why we do this is because due to the clamping force of the machine and the brittle nature of these high temp 3D printed plastics, you need a little bit of extra cushioning when you clamp the molds together. Otherwise you, you can break these pretty easily. Now, the first thing we're going to do today is install the clamp side of the mold on top of the rubber. And that's just two bolts. And on these bolts, just finger tight is okay, just a little snug. You don't want them too tight because you can break your mold. And now we'll install the injection side of the mold. And again, just two bolts. And finger tight is okay. And there you have it. We have our 3D molds inside our aluminum blanks and we're ready to start molding. Okay, now we have our 3D printed mold installed on the machine. And before we start making parts, we want to talk a little bit about the injection parameters and the difference between injecting plastic on an aluminum mold and a plastic 3D printed mold. The first, we're, the first injection parameter we're going to cover is injection pressure and you want this much lower so we're going to take injection pressure from about 240 all the way down to 65 next we're going to take the hold pressure from 100 down to 15 and the clamp force we can take from 20 down to about 2. Next the cooling time you want to be a little bit longer so we're going to take that from 5 seconds up to 20. And finally the fill speed you want to be much slower on that. So we'll take it from 10 down to all the way down to 1. Oops. Okay. 
Excellent. Now our injection parameters are set, so we've reduced the pressure quite a bit. Injection holding and clamp. We've increased cooling time and we've reduced the fill speed and now this will allow us to more easily inject plastic in a 3D printed mold rather than an aluminum mold. Let's get started. Okay, we have our 3D printed mold installed, our injection parameters set, and we're ready to begin making plastic parts. Let's hit run once on the tablet, and this will start our injection cycle. First stage is clamping, which brings the right side of your mold together to the left. Now this is the injection phase. The plastic is being injected, injected into the 3D mold. Now this is the holding stage and following that there's the cooling stage which is just bringing your plastic part back to its correct temperature. And again this cooling stage takes a little bit longer using 3D printed molds. And now we're in the homing stage just bringing the right side of the mold back to its original location. And there we go. There you have it. That's our part right here. For you all to see. And that's it. This concludes our 3D printed mold video. We hope this helps you guys a little bit get started with using 3D printed molds on your plastic injection machine. And feel free to like and comment in the comments section below. Smash that subscribe button and see you guys next time.